How's it going, y'all? Today I went to the pawn shop and picked up a couple couple rusty tools. I've been cleaning them a little bit and wanted to show y'all what I got. Not really, nothing special, but it was cheap. I think I spent $17 on all this. Alright, start out with this little clamp. B and C Company, Connecticut. Two inch, nothing special, but didn't have one. All right, a few sockets. I think everything I bought was made in the USA, so that's great. Industro Super. It's the only one I got of those. Then I normally don't pick up Husky stuff, but if it's the old USA, then it's nice. Then I got a couple blue point sockets, 16 and 17 millimeter, dollar a piece. Then I got a snap on, 11 sixteenths. Older one. Then, I don't know if you've ever heard of this stuff, but Par X. And if you didn't know, this is an old snap on brand that they no longer make. It's kind of like Blue Point, but before Blue Point was around. These were actually attached together. I got them. And it took a lot of work to get them apart. These were like covered in rust. Took a lot of oil and prime to get them apart. And a rough little 9 16 uh, wrench. Then let's move on to the SK stuff. Found this old SK number two Phillips. So why not? Probably got more SK stuff than any of it. Double sided open wrench, half inch, nine sixteenths, then a seven sixteenths. And I got this extra deep five eighths, twelve point, and a spark plug socket, thirteen sixteenths. Yeah, that's I had to dig through a lot of crap to find this stuff. Then I, the one Mac wrench I found, really old, Sabina, Ohio. This was really bad when I got it and I still couldn't get all of it off. Then a couple proto things. I guess this is an old ratchet wrench. Half inch, five sixteenths, still works. Then probably my favorite thing. Found a nice three quarter proto. This one had the least amount of rust of any of it. It's actually fairly easy to clean up. Clean up. Then I got these Klein pliers. These were at the bottom. I thought they were really neat because it says M. Klein and Sons, Chicago, USA. And I looked up the date code. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. K and K. I looked it up, and these are 1962. It's got the M. Klein and Sons. I actually just put these on eBay and they sold like five minutes later so apparently they're pretty cool. Alright, and that was my little pawn shop haul. We'll try out the flea market tomorrow. Thanks, subscribe.